Focused on producing healthier students. Go, go, go! For the past eight years, the Anchorage School District has literally cut the fat out of schools. It's banned junk food and sodas and made PE classes longer. Public health officials say these efforts to lower obesity are starting to make a difference. We think all of these things helped, and they're certainly coincident with seeing the improvement. But the fight is far from over, because outside of school, the influences remain. Now, Americans, on the average, drink about 50 gallons a year of sugar-sweetened beverages. That's like a big oil drum of our North Slope oil full of sugar-sweetened beverages. That leads to severe health problems. You can't see the effects of obesity. It's high blood pressure, it's type 2 diabetes, it's the risk for heart disease, and those are things you can't see until they're already there. Doctors say in the long run, our kids will pay the price. It's costly in terms of dollars, it's costly um, in terms of life. Parents can help by checking their children's BMI. Okay. That's body mass index. So over here we can go inches and then um, weight and pounds. And by encouraging them to be active. It's get out and play 60 minutes every day. I mean, that's the closest thing we've got to a silver bullet for this obesity epidemic right now. Experts say it's the simple things, just like going on the monkey bars. Go ahead. Go. <laughs> do you ice skate in the winter? Do you play basketball? What do you do? Which means parents can actually do the activities with their kids, so the habits are learned young. You can skip the bar if you want. Park away from the entrance and take a little bit of a walk. Every hundred steps is a hundred steps you may not have taken otherwise. Thinking beyond the norm creates solutions. Uh, to make sure our kids can live long, healthy lives. <laughs> oh, that was good.